Hello, so this question asks, if James can swim 10 laps in 23 minutes, what would his expected time for 15 laps be? Answer as a decimal and without units. So initially when I thought of this problem, I mean, I saw this problem, I thought of dimensional analysis. Um, the thing that is kind of confusing is answering without units and as a decimal, but it turns out the answer is decimal, so I will just show you my dimensional analysis for you. All right. So first, I always like to start off with what we're trying to figure out, right? And I always want to make sure that the right units cancel so I end up with what I want. So the question that's being asked is, what's his expected time for 15 laps? And we're given that he can swim 10 laps in 23 minutes. So I start out with the 15 laps, and then I multiply that by... 10 laps in the denominator and then 23 lap 23 minutes in the numerator. So our end result is his expected time in 15 laps because the laps units cancel out, as you can see. So if we can cancel out the lap units, then all we have left is the minutes units, which is exactly what we want. So 15 times 23 over 10 minutes is our final unit. Uh, and when you do 15 times 23 over 10, you get 34.5. But since the answer wants no units um, and a decimal, it would be 34.5. I think, hopefully, this 